Oh, actually, mm -hmm. I have one here. So this molecule of nicotine, actually, this is easier. When 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 this molecule it needs to be processed by the environment or even in our bodies, you con you transform this this molecule into into something we call nicotinic acid. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so nicotinic is acid is not it's pretty much like uh, this molecule breaking in two. And nicotinic acid actually uh, actually you can make vitamin D B three out of it. Okay. Ah, uh, so, nobody wants to talk about vitamin D B three. Yeah, <laughs> so, which is not necessarily that different. Um, but I mean, it's intermolecularly speaking, I don't really understand that process of conversion into something from something to something. But nicotinamide, the name nicotine, uh, it doesn't mean it comes from nicotine. Okay, it doesn't mean that nicotinamine ha comes from from nicotine, but it has a structure that. Is similar and actually a, a, a product that comes out of like this part. So let me just show you something. So what actually happened, and, I'm, and actually this is real, real data that you guys can find out. This is nicotine, okay? So I'm just gonna double check if you guys have seen. So this is nicotine. In our bodies, in, it's being oxidized by intermolecular me mechanisms. What happens is this. This part is split in two. And now, this part here is the very famous niacin, which is which is actually vitamin B3. Just go check. I mean, obviously, you need to oxidize this part. This end here, it becomes a carboxylic acid. So it becomes, and that body, our body does that. So our body oxidizes this carbon here. This carbon oxidizes and makes. Um, an organic acid, which is a group, a carboxylic acid, which is a COOH. And then from nicotine, you actually have vitamin B3. Isn't that nice? Isn't that, that nice? See, that just makes me want to vape more now. I need so, some more B3. So I have a question. <laughs> this is not what I wanted to, you to do, but I just trying to, to explain <laughs> to you if these single process that happens in our bodies, happens also in the environment, makes mm. something which is a precursor of vitamin B3, why we need to be so scared of it? Okay, so, and this substance is, so is this this is a, 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 a pyrrolic ring, so this substance actually becomes like that. And this is something our body knows how to handle very well. You can make urea from this side here. This one becomes in urea, which is something that we pee. Mm -hmm. And this is just, not very different from a molecule that we did with that any time when we drink, which is ethanol. This can be oxidized to ethanol. And we we know how to live with vodka. So yeah. And, and have I it. love I love ethanol. <laughs> I have yeah. a question. If <laughs> yeah. if I if I open a, a restaurant uh, Italian restaurant and I boil and peel and, and brew potatoes and tomatoes and any other nightshade plant. Eggplant. Will there be nicotine on the walls? Of some sort, or would it be niacin? <laughs> there is a half life, as uh, you were saying, there is half life. So maybe after a week or two, maybe I, I will still find some traces of nicotine. But I will be very lucky if I find after maybe two or three with any nicotine. Right. Maybe I will find vitamin B3. <laughs> Aha. <laughs> they didn't, well, anyway. It doesn't of course, matter. there's <laughs> oxidation on the walls. So it's, you know it's not, that it's not that smoking. carbon that that carbon element will oxidize pretty quickly yeah. uh, in that environment. So you could have uh, niacin or B three um, on the walls. <laughs> um, pretty easy, I would say pretty quickly. I'm not a scientist. I just play one on Facebook, but you know. Yeah. Um, you know, that's something I never expected to have. We we have turned this show into a very educational program. Yeah. And and you um, guys saw I'm not playing with your minds and I'm just showing you this is a molecule right. of nicotine and I I broke it down in front of your eyes. You guys can go into internet right now and see how niacin the, the structure of niacin is called nicotinic acid for something. Right. These names they, are not yeah, we don't make these names up. 
Obviously, niacin might not do anything to these nicotinic acetylcholine receptors that we use, you know, that pretty mm -hmm. much are like the ones that are involved in all this kind of key chain reaction when you put this inside your body. But yeah, I mean, definitely it's, it, it, it is important to, to picture things chemi chemically now in our minds a little bit more simply as like having action molecule and breaking it down mm -hmm. from everyone's eyes.